hey you guys and welcome back to vlogmas <gasps> i haven't been keeping up but i'm trying you guys know i'm trying my very best so today i'm ando en chinga limpiando because my friend's coming over and i really don't have friends over but i said you know what i need to start inviting people because i'm never really home I'm, but i'm gonna try my best to change that in this new year because i want to be that girlfriend where you know my friends can come oh i don't have any friends but my friends can come they feel comfortable we can hang out because i always usually go to my friend's house but now it's my turn to host um we're gonna have a little brunch together we're gonna make brunch together but first we're gonna stop at a little coffee shop right here close to my home and then we're gonna come back here and make some vegan chilaquiles my friend is vegan so i'm excited to see how it's gonna turn out i really never make chilaquiles actually ever in my life i really don't eat them i'm gonna try my best to make them the best i can and i'm, gonna, I'm trying to hurry up literally because i'm cleaning everything i'm trying to organize which i know it's not gonna be possible in 15 minutes as she's on her way and i'm so freaking shiny i'm trying to get ready really quick to go to the coffee shop and look a little decent so far i've cleaned the living room the kitchen a little bit i had like so many dishes because i haven't been home really i'm gonna try and vlog the process of how we make the chilaquiles hopefully they are a success i'm pretty sure that it is gonna be a success because we're latinas and we have that touch i hope you guys are excited for this vlog and yeah let's go ahead and let me get ready because she's probably already here Ok, creo que este va a ser el outfitcito, no sé todavía uh, si este va a ser, me va a quedar así But I might change when I come back and cook Also, let me show you guys my cute nails that my sister made for me They are freaking adorable, I am obsessed I've been wanting green nails like this for a long, long time And I finally got them and I am obsessed Super cute So yeah, I'm gonna go throw away some trash and finish getting ready because my friend Said she's gonna be here at 11.30, it's 11 35 and she told me she was putting on her shoes and come here so she probably took another 20 minutes so i have a little bit more time to put myself together and continue cleaning okay you guys so here is the final ootd i changed i put on this little puffer jacket pink from shein which i do have a uh shein haul a little one either posted before this or after coming soon but this is the outfit i stay with the same leggings these are from gym gym shark by the way super comfortable i've had them for like four years and then this little like um turtleneck but it's like short sleeve this is from walmart i think it was like six dollars and then my nike socks and my dunk low super cute um and a little beanie and i did kind of do my makeup a little bit so yeah guys guess what it's Almost 12.30, my friend's not here. And she was supposed to be here at 11.30, so... Shh, I'm gonna call her up right now because it's getting late and I'm getting hungry, so... Yeah, this is the look. Um, I feel cute. And my nails, oh my god, obsessed. Okay, guys, so I'll see you guys later. So we are back from the store. We took, like, three hours. My friend got here, like, two hours late. She oh, you she started already? Yeah. <laughs> she told me she would be here at 11.30 and she showed up at 1.30. By the time she's done, I'm gonna be drunk. Yeah, we're having some conversations and drinking white cloth. So, she's never done chilaquiles. I have, but apparently they're not the right way. <laughs> Can you explain how you would make them? No. Tell us! <laughs> To see who can relate. I'm, I'm pretty sure people do it with the las tortillas de la misión, las que son blancas, you know the little skinny ones, <laughs> no, and no. then you buy the little enchilada sauce and you just pour it on top. I feel offended right now. Okay, so for step one. Oh yeah, you do one. Okay. Yeah, I have a little one. So it's one tomato. It's kind of big. Uh, one serrano. And two tomatillos. You don't have like a little. Yeah, I do. Uh, some people like it green and some red. I'm gonna make them green. Because I like green salsa better. So she's gonna learn how to make salsa today. And they are gonna be vegan. I told you guys my friend is vegan, so I don't mind eating vegan food. It's kind of like blandito, like kind of like salt. We're gonna blend it with a piece of uh, cebolla, a little bit of salt and pepper, and, and cilantro. Yeah. And it's gonna make the salsa. So we're gonna, oh, and then we got, she got these pinto beans. We've never tried this brand, but they're gonna be good. Should we keep them open in a little pan? Uh huh. Yeah. And they're not always healthy. Okay, I mean, I'm planning to make some like in the air fryer uh -huh. and some fried. Oh my gosh! Yes, healthy vibes. Yeah. Okay, so I have some, I have some corn tortillas here. We're gonna cut them in triangles. And I was just telling my friend that we're gonna make some fried and some air fried because we're healthy vibes here. I'm gonna cut them like this. Wait, I'm gonna turn it off and then turn it off. 
I already washed my hands, eh? <laughs> Some people you do with chips, but I think that's cheating. My mom does it. Dude, I blame my mom. Me and my mom loves to put chips. <laughs> I like these Mexican bread tortillas. I've never done it with that. Well, at least you don't make it with flour tortillas. That would have killed you. <laughs> <laughs> with coconut oil spray. I love this album. Chips are almost done. They need like a few more minutes. They're crunchy. Some of them are. So I kind of mix them around so they can all get crunchy. And then our salsa is ready. Well, it's not ready, but it's ready to blend. The tomato should look soft like this. Dang. Like this. So we're gonna start putting everything in the blender. Done. You make it look super easy. It is, trust me. <laughs> Try it next time. And you're gonna be like, oh, this is so easy. So we're gonna put the tomatoes in here. She doesn't want it too spicy, so we're gonna do mild. And then we're just gonna add one serrano. If I need more after, I'll add it after. The tomatillos. And you know, I always find my salsa in our gate. Girl. Yes, that's not going on. It's gonna water to make it watery. Not too much though. And then some salt. So did you finish watching Love is Blind season three? No. Oh, girl. I know. Some salt. I'm gonna put this in the air fryer because I like how they're turning out better here. They're taking forever. We do the cilantro and that's it. What, the mini cilantro? Yeah. Por qué? Is it optional? It's optional, but I like the flavor. All I do is just grab like this and put it in there. Okay, it, and we're gonna blend it. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna switch these and bring these over here. They're literally so crunchy. It's way healthier than frying them, you know? We're gonna place them here. Dude, cooking with the fake thing. I know, me too. Now we're gonna try the salsa. Make sure it is not too spicy. I mean, check if it needs salt or anything. Is it, is it any more like salt or anything? It's perfect. It's really good. It's a little... And with garlic, it's just cilantro, so yeah, bueno. Mmm, that's so good. That's really good. So now we're just gonna wait for these chips, put them in there together, and add all the sauce. Me das para llevar. Yeah. Yeah. So we have our plates here. We have some beans and the chilaquiles. <clears throat> and we have this vegan cheese. My hands are clean, guys. Um, yeah, pero hazlo. ¿Cómo se dice borona? Oh, I thought you wanted it like this. No. Okay. Se a mí me sabe igual que el queso fresco. How long have you been vegan? Um, I don't know, yeah, como five years, no? Probably even, yeah, like five years at least. Wow. Vegan sour cream. This is a brand she swears is the best. It is. Hey, whatever. It looks good. We're just gonna add a little sprinkle of cilantro for garnish. Yeah. I'm gonna add cebolla to mine. Do you want cebolla? Si, please. Thank you. Of course. I like yours better. Se <laughs> miran bonitos. Let me try it. Moment of truth. We shall see. No, pues no se puede. No entra. Primera falla. Make sure you get a little bit of everything. Sí, a ver. There's you know what I want to mm. drizzle? More salsa, like on top. Yeah, I think we should because they're too dry, huh? Are they good? They're or are good, they good, dude. I like the salsa. Yeah? I really like the salsa. Do you want more? It's really good. Yeah. And I added cebolla at the end. I don't know if you guys saw it because I had it for bottom. Good? Okay. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, let me try it. Mmm. Oh, yeah. So bomb. Dude, what do you think about the cheese? It's good. It doesn't even taste like 
It tastes like regular cheese. A mí me sabe queso fresco. Yeah, it tastes good. Y la sour cream sabe igual, huh? Yeah. I tried so many brands, but this is like the best one that I like. Mm. Porque las otras saben bien fake. Hi guys, so I am back. Wait, I didn't even tell you guys I went to the store. But anyways, I was hanging out with, with my friend here for a while. Estábamos chismeando. No, nothing about no one. We don't talk about no one. Um, and then we had a cup of coffee. Uh, then we decided to go to Trader Joe's together and she drove me there. Look at this cute plant that I found for $7.99. Isn't it crazy? And it's super cute, pink. That goes with my apartment. Do you guys know I have pink everywhere? Well, I have hints of pink, but you guys know it's my favorite color. So I had to get it super cute. It's real, obviously, because I don't like not real plants. And this is so cute because I want I like Christmas, but then I don't really have anything red here. So I'm like, you know what? This is perfect. I'm just gonna I have to get it. I have to. So I did. And let me just show you guys a little hot. By the way, we had some of these from uh, Sprouts with our coffee, and they're really good actually. It's like a little packet that has four little rice cakes. Um, it's per packet. These are the packets, which were so good with the coffee. It's so freaking bomb. So per, per packet is 70 calories, three fat, and nine carbs, and one protein. It's like your little rice crisp covered with dark chocolate, which is bomb. We're laughing because we're like, I cannot believe we're at the stage here that we're having a coffee, el panecito con el pan, or el pan, but it's just so funny because, you know, we're getting older and we're the same age, but it's just crazy. Anyways, I'm gonna give you a little treasure sauce that I really didn't buy much. I got this little poster from Five Below because it was right next to it. It was five bucks, obviously. I need to just get a frame. My friend convinced me to get one because she's into all like decor and stuff. And she's like, you don't have nothing on your wall. So I'm like, you know what? You're right. So I just got it. And then I got this little uh, game that I can play with my sisters. This slumber party, family party game. Because every time it's like a like a holiday, like Christmas or Thanksgiving, we never know what to do. So I need to, uh, we need to start doing um, game nights. So we are entertained and I'm just on, on our phones. This is water that I was drinking. So Trader Joe's, my friend recommended this. She really likes it. It's chimichurri sauce. So I think I'm gonna put it like on salmon or like chicken. I feel like it's gonna be good. I've never tried it, but I'm trusting that it's gonna be good. Um, it's like a dip kind of thing, but I think I think I'm just gonna add it to chicken or like stuff like that. And then of course my little dark chocolate cups. I always like to have them in my freezer for whenever I get a sweet tooth. I just have a dark chocolate uh, peanut butter cup. And I got a bunch of these because my, my sisters are obsessed and they wanted me to buy some for them. It's chicken, kung chow chicken, kung chow, kung pao chicken. And you guys, if you've been watching my videos, you know that I always cook this, so they're bomb. And that's literally it. That's all I got. I got like five or six for my sisters and for me. So yeah, guys, I think I'm going to close up this vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. The chilaquiles were freaking bomb. I recommend you air frying them because like you guys saw, I don't have oil like actual oil so i couldn't fry them so i, I love the, the air fryer because you don't use a lot of oil they're faster and it's just you know it's healthier so definitely if you're gonna try and make chilaquiles try and make them in the air fryer and they were so bomb guys i was impressed because i've never made ever made chilaquiles in my life i think once but so good definitely try it um you do have to be careful though because you can easily eat like five tortillas so just if you're kind of macros, just try and get your tortillas like portion. To eat. Not that carbs are bad, but you have to be careful you don't overeat. So that's gonna be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. If you watched it this far, and please don't forget to subscribe and like this video and turn on your post notifications so you don't miss any of my videos. I love you guys so much, and don't forget to do what's right now. What is it? Bye.